Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I want to say thank you so, so much for the 4,000 subscribers. That has meant the absolute world to me. All right, guys, so today we're going to make some super cool farmhouse signs. So you guys, I went to Lowe's and literally spent just a couple of bucks on some just raw wood. Um, and so you just go in there and pretty much just decide what size you want and decide what it is that you want to create and use your creativity to make some fun size so today we're gonna um, you know I'm just gonna show you a couple of the things and methods that I use and then you can determine if any of this is something that you want to do for yourself now these are actually paint sticks that I ended up cutting I had used them for a different project but when you're done with those projects um, you know you can reuse things you'll see in my channel that I reuse things constantly um, so I really hope you enjoy today's video uh, let me know if you have any questions all right so let's get to it so as we go ahead and get set up to paint um, you of course want to decide you know what color um, you're gonna go ahead and paint I need to stock up on my paints you guys because I'm running out of everything um, but if you love these type of videos don't forget to show me some love and give me a thumbs up and let's go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and paint mine a dark brown and you'll see that it's multi uh, colors that I'm going to be using. But what I wanna make sure you understand is for this particular sign, you want to make sure that your base color is whatever color you want your word to appear as. All right, and if you haven't already, don't forget to join the fam by hitting that subscribe button. The beauty with raw wood is that it allows the paint to dry rather quickly because it sucks in that paint. So now we're gonna use some wood glue. I have the Gorilla wood glue, but you can use any wood glue. Um, and I'm just taking a little bit of the sponge from the you know, sponge that I was using to paint and we're just gonna dab some onto the actual edge of our wood. And we're just gonna go ahead and connect it, clean it up, you'll see what I'm doing here. And that way we have the two pieces together. And then we're also going to add our little pieces um, as you're gonna see me do here, just to add a little statement piece. I think this is so cute. Um, I had that idea and I added a little too much to that one, so we're gonna use that same uh, glue on the other piece. But um, the rust is pretty much self-explanatory, so I'm gonna have you watch. And again, you guys, if you ever have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer. As I've mentioned in previous videos, sometimes it does take me a while to reply I do apologize but I work a full-time job um, and I manage my own channel and answer all my own questions so forgive me I will eventually get to them I promise and as you can see here I have had these poster board stickers for quite some time and this is what we are going to use for this particular sign. You're going to determine what you want your sign to say and you're going to go ahead and put it on your actual um, board. So I am creating this board for my new office slash um, craft room. So you guys, I'm actually crafting today on my kitchen table because my craft room or office is a hot mess because it is completely a disaster. You know, when you want to change things up and it's bad before it's good. Well, that's what I'm experiencing at the moment. So um, my husband is watching TV in the living room while I'm crafting in the kitchen <laughs> and I had to make a cute sign for my new craft room. Um, so it's it's gonna say create because of course what do we do in a craft room ladies we create <laughs> Cause I'm not tired I'm thinking about the days we used to shine when we were young I told you that we should start a band and reach for the sky it's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep 
So the point of the Mod Podge is that it doesn't seep underneath the words, so it doesn't bleed. Um, and now you're going to go ahead and go in with your color. Now you can choose to just do, you know, two coats. I personally am going in with three coats. That's just something I personally wanted to do. Um, and you'll see how I do that. Uh, the rest is pretty much going to be just you watching um, how I finish my sign. Um, but one thing that I wanted to clarify is one thing that I highly recommend is that you go in with matte Mod Podge versus doing just the regular one. And that's why I am not using my homemade stuff that I like to use um, and using the store-bought kind, okay? It's cold Okay guys, so this project I have had planned forever, no exaggeration. So this board right here was purchased at Michael's. Now I personally haven't been purchasing stuff at Michael's for a while because they stopped doing their coupons since COVID. And I get it you guys, you know, a lot of businesses are struggling, but I like my coupons. And because of that, I haven't been purchasing from them. But if you guys were paying attention during the holidays, they had some pretty awesome deals. And I think it's because they've been hurting. And yes, that amazing windmill that you see there is from Dollar Tree totally just um, putting that out there you guys just have to think outside of the box you can get some pretty amazing things anyway back to Michaels so this board right here is $24.99 which you guys is absolutely absurd and totally ridiculous but your girl got 
all of this stuff, including the letters for 50% off and an additional 20% off during the holidays. The key thing is you guys have to keep an eye out for everything. Okay. Um, and you can find letters anywhere. You can go to Walmart. Um, you can try and see if Hobby Lobby has them. And the boards, you guys, you can get them at Lowe's. I went ahead and did a little bit of homework for you guys in case you wanted to replicate this. They have an exact same board for this exact same size at Lowe's for $8. Um, so if you wanted to do this, you can. Now, this was something I had already purchased. Um, and so I am using what I have. It's already painted for me and distressed. So all I'm going to do is paint my letters and then add that amazing windmill from Dollar Tree, which honestly is what sparked this idea to start off with. I have wanted a farmhouse sign in my home forever and it's kind of a funny story because my husband didn't want a farmhouse sign and three years later I have broken the man down. <laughs> okay, no, he finally gave in anyway and he loved the sign um, and I'll show you guys how we added it to the home and how stinking cute it turned out, but I really truly hope you guys are enjoying this. I'm so proud of the way it turned out. And these are just different methods that I'm showing you guys on how to create signs for your home and or even gifts that you guys can give for anything, whether it's Mother's Day coming up, hint, hint, Valentine's Day, you know, there's so many different holidays throughout the year that you can gift for a friend at birthdays. I mean, you name it. What are you doing to me?
And this turned out so super cute, but of course it's pretty time consuming because you have to make sure that every letter is spaced out evenly. So you have to be very, very patient. But you guys, here it is in my kitchen and I absolutely love the way it turned out. I hope you do too. All right, guys, and for my last sign, I think the little saying that I put on here is so funny and cute and perfect for my craft room. But this one is also, in my opinion, the easiest. So I really hope you enjoy it and you'll have to let me know what you think, of course. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I will ever figure out So the trick with the sanding block is that it's not 100% dry when you're wanting the natural wood to come out. Um, it's going to pick up the basically paint a lot easier and it's going to give it that natural distressed look. Now, of course, you guys, none of this is a must if you don't like the distressed look, as you guys can see clearly from all of my DIY projects, I do. Um, but if you don't, you can just leave it a plain color. Um, you can even do borders, which I'm going to be doing other um signs in the future where you guys will see me do actual borders. Now this is the quickest sign because I use my Cricut for this one and um, I went ahead and uh, did this saying that says crafting is my therapy and goodness gracious is that not true. And total side note but I am not a fan of Cricut transfer paper. My goodness, all my Cricut fans out there and girls that have the Cricut, um, y'all will have to tell me what transfer paper to purchase because my goodness, I am not a fan of this Cricut transfer paper. I've purchased a strong one. I've purchased a regular one. And let me just tell you, I, it doesn't matter which one, that Cricut transfer paper is awful. Anyway, enough of that rant there. Um, it does the job, I guess. But the sign itself is so cute in my opinion, and I cannot wait to put it up in my office or cra office slash craft room because it's so cute and it's so me with the funny little saying, I guess. Where the road goes. I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down signs and I hope you learned a thing or two. Thanks so much for watching my video today and have a beautiful and blessed day. Bye guys! Where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling